Good afternoon, AMC shareholders. Up, up, and up. We're going up today again. Uh, five cents. Uh, the high for today looks like uh, 46 cents. Four, 446 would have been the high. Um, I don't know. It's got perpetual slow motion going on. People like the uh, things they're hearing about the earnings report. Uh, they're feeling safe and comfortable with the company. They feel like the dilution of the 1.4 billion total shares that are in this universe that are, will be combined one day. They're feeling like they're all baked in already. Um, and it's moving upwards. Everything's going nicely. Um, the only concern that I have is uh, after earnings date. I think it's going to be a great earnings date. It's going to be very confusing for a lot of people. Uh, and especially the shorts. They're not going to know what the hell to do. Because um, this price is going to be going up. It's going to be going up. And... Uh, we're going to sit through this earnings season. It's going to be very pleasant. Uh, at some point, uh, this 1.4 billion share company uh, is going to do a 10 to 1, uh, 1 to 10 reverse split um, and become uh, have less shares. Uh, the question is, uh, how, how much more money do they need to survive to get the balance sheet right side up, to get back to even enough where they can... Uh, have a successful, profitable being in the black quarter at, you know, a billion dollars or $1.1 billion for the quarter. Maybe that puts them into the black. It'd be a lot easier than $1.3 billion putting them into the black. They're going to hit uh, their numbers more often. It'll make it a more manageable business to run. Uh, they can put uh, more cash in their pockets um, for the company's pockets, uh, hopefully. Um, and well, they've already issued a bunch of APE shares and we've already seen a billion shares of them get issued. Um, and they're able to do another 4 billion APE shares. That is within their realm of ability. The CEO can just issue them whenever he feels like it and start selling them. Um, and this concerns me because I have a feeling that this is going to be what he does to raise the money to lower this debt line. The liabilities of $11.44 billion. Uh, if, if he was right side up here, he, we would have a company that can earn, you know, 1.1 billion or 1 billion and then turn a profit every single quarter. Uh, if we're a company that has this much debt, it's going to require 1.3 billion or a little bit more to achieve the black. Um, and this is all the difference in the world for a company like this. Uh, they have a uh, very fixed cost. Their rents don't change. Their employees hopefully don't change too much. Um, and, but they need to be right side up here. They need this to come down about three or four billion dollars on this yellow line. Uh, how much money do they have? Well, this number here just changed. Uh, now it says 495 million. Let's see if that's quarterly. The cash on hand, uh, 631 million is how much cash on hand they have. Just did a video the other day and they said nine, I think it said 990 million. So apparently they just spent like three or 400 million on something, uh, hopefully wiping out some of their debt. I would hope so. Um, let's hope that's where they're putting it. Um, it's not going to wipe out much, but it could have gotten 10% of it off the board. That three four billion that we need every three hundred million, I guess it's uh, gonna be ten percent. Three three four hundred million is gonna be ten percent of it. So good. Every time you can throw a chunk like that, they already threw a ten percent chunk at it one time over the last six months um, using the APE people's money, and they use the APE money that they've collected so far to make it through COVID, uh, get caught up on everything, and then survive the last few quarters of losing a couple of hundred million dollars every quarter. Uh, they also increase their cash reserves. Uh, they don't have any per se credit. Uh, they can't, to, to get more money, they can't get it here. And this is what they need to get rid of is their credit usage because that's the noose around their neck. Um, they don't have enough cash here to, to dip this four billion off. And they can't dilute AMC shares 
I remember that's the reason why they went and made APE preferred stock is so that he would have something he could dilute because he was unable to dilute AMC shares. So he created APE shares, uh, issued a bunch of preferred shares, uh, 400 million of them just over that. And then he diluted them uh, another 600 million after he did that, uh, causing um, not only them to take a bath in it, but uh, alerting all of us to the fact that there's 1.4 billion shares in the AMC universe now and that the APE people have the voting rights because every preferred share does get a vote. Um, and they do have voting rights uh, just like we do. And uh, they kind of control the company to some degree and they decided to vote to merge these two things together. Uh, give us back control of the company in exchange for them making a nice arbitrage uh, play. Uh, what I think they didn't see coming was the fact that he's not done diluting them yet. Uh, he needs to raise more money. He, he raised money and he made it through to here. But where is here and where does he want this thing to finish? And I would assume he wants it to finish with this yellow line being lower. That is my contention. He needs another three or four million dollars. He can go through all this crap. He can't go through it all again. This has been a one year hell ride for the CEO. Uh, but he wants his yellow line to go away. And he can fire four billion more APE shares into their universe whenever he wants to. I sense after this court case is done, he probably won't do it during the court case to piss off the judge. Uh, he's going to fire off a couple of billion of them sending the APEs into the gutter. Uh, we'll all be looking at that from the AMC side, uh, thinking, oh, shit, he just got approved to clock them together with us. Oh, shit. And then all of a sudden, your, your uh, awesome stock that was 8 or $10 after earnings, uh, now you're looking at a, uh, well, we already had the dilution baked in the first time around, but now they're going to, uh, triple the shares in the outstanding universe uh, again, uh, 200%. So it's going to turn your uh, eight to ten dollars down to. God, I don't even know what that is. Two bucks a dollar, something horrible. And then they're going to reverse split it, uh, which is going to be a one to ten. It's going to bring you all the way back up to ten dollars, and you're going to have ten, ten percent of the shares that you used to have, of AMC. Uh, so that's how it works. Uh, that's how he's getting the money to pay this off. Uh, that's how he's going to pay off that debt. He's going to use his shareholders. And his shareholders are me, you, APE, everyone. He's going to do to everyone. He's already told everyone what he's doing. He's going to, uh, he asked for 5 billion APE dilution possibilities. He's already done a billion of them. If you don't think he's going to fire off more of them on his way to the switch, uh, I think you need to go talk to someone because he most definitely is. It's uh, easy route 101 for him getting the money he needs to save this company. Uh, he got the money to save it temporarily already, but he didn't get the money to fix it overall. But he's got it. We're sitting there right in his hand, and he's just got to push the trigger and say, okay, issue 2 billion more APEs, sell them all, dump that thing to shit, and pay off all of my debt. And he clacks the two companies together to get rid of the APE people so they no longer have any voting rights. Uh, they're now all on our team. They're all on the same team. We're all looking after one interest and one interest only. Um, those people have a lot of voting rights right now. They greatly outnumber us. Um, but it's going to be all back onto AMC. He's going to clack them back into here and then tend to want it. And pretend nothing's happened <laughs> and to the, to the non-AMC stockholder. It's going to look a whole hell of a lot like nothing happened. It's going to look like they still have 400 uh, million outstanding shares. It's going to look like they uh, have the same stock price. Um, it's just going to take a ride. It's going to take a ride from 7, 8, 9, 10 down to a buck uh, or 50 cents and then right back up to 7, 8, 9, 10. That's, that, that, that's what's going to happen here. Uh, that's the full end game for AMC and APE. I would say that they would raise the money. Everybody's talking about, oh, well, he's going to dilute. He already did dilute a billion. Uh, so, and, and that's all we've been aware of it for almost a year. The question is, is he going to dilute another two or three billion to get this job done? 
to fix the problem, to fix the big problem. And the big problem, as we discussed, was that $11.4 billion in debt being way more than his uh, assets and making his monthly payments unobtainable. He needs to get all the variable debt off of there at a minimum. Um, and hopefully he uh, doesn't have much of that, but he still needs to get a right side up. The payments are too big. He can't sustain the company like this. If he has to do $1.3 billion every single quarter to break a profit, it's going to be a tough business to run. If he only has to do a billion to break a profit, it's going to be a much easier business to run. He needs us to come off the board. He's going to do what he has to do to save the company. He's not going to leave this thing after all these troubles. He's not going to leave this thing with an upside down balance sheet back in we're totally screwedville. No. He's going to dilute the APE and then clack them over and then reverse split it. And uh, all of the money for all of this fixing is coming out of our positions. Uh, keep that in mind. After earnings, get the hell out. Uh, get out of your APEs ASAP, uh, number one. Number two, after this earnings or pre-earnings hype or however you want to play it, uh, get out of your AMC until this clack is done. This is going to be the nastiest clack. After he clacks, he can't dilute anymore. You're safe. Uh, so after the clack happens, you come on right back in. The prices will be just nosediving probably. Uh, if they haven't already done that in advance. I, I got a feeling they're going to do it in advance. But uh, the day that they clack together or even advance, as soon as he starts diluting the APE, this thing's just going to fall apart. But he's going to wait for the uh, earnings report. He's going to wait for the great numbers to be released. He wants to watch the short squeeze. Oh, come on. He's a narcissist. He wants to play this thing to the hilt. He's kept his mouth shut while meme investors got all excited, while people argued about arbitrage plays that he knows doesn't exist. There's no arbitrage play here. Those people are going to get arbitrage played. They're going to go from $1.93 down to a quarter. They don't even know it yet. And they just voted for their own demise in March. And he said, oh, yeah, uh, let's uh, uh, let's give you the power to <laughs> issue another four billion of us. That's just smart. I mean, what the hell? What are these people thinking? I don't know. Um, I They were thinking about saving the company, I guess. We need to maybe get, you know, I don't know. I guess that's what they were thinking. They were thinking uh, GameStop paying $500 a share stuff i don't know i don't know what they were thinking but that's it everybody uh that's the end game it's going to be a great earning season it's going to be hell on earth after that uh i want everyone to get out of their ape immediately uh you don't know when the dilution's coming i want you to ride this thing up this pre-hype as far as you think you can take it if you see any signs of ape falling apart he doesn't have to tell anybody he can just start selling into it See if you if you see APE getting ripped apart, just get the hell out of everything. That means game's over uh, for your AMC play. AMC is about to rip apart right behind it. Um, once you see a true ripping, when you see it go from a dollar ninety three to a dollar fifty in one day, you need to get the hell out of AMC. That means it's on big time. He's diluting it. And as soon as he's done diluting it, he's going to clack it, and then he's going to ask for the reverse split which is going to multiply it back up by 10. But we're not looking at a 1.3 million share dilution. We're looking at a four, uh, I'm sorry, a 1.3 or 1.4 billion dollar worth of dilution that we think we have now that's already baked in. What we're actually looking for, uh, looking at here now is the potential for a three or four billion dollar or billion share dilution. And it completely changed the game, completely changed the metrics destroy AMC or destroy APE and then by de facto destroy AMC because we know we're inheriting that load of crap four billion times. And when word of that gets out, that's just going to take a few seconds. Your AMC is going to be lit on fire also. So make this short and sweet earning season. Take advantage, hopefully, as much as you can. Um, but yeah, get the hell out of these things. Uh, they are toxic and dangerous right now, and uh, I think you're going to be good for at least, I don't know, until the judge comes back and says something at least. And uh, if the judge rules uh, to not allow the the merger, 
And I think AMC is going to go up big time, completely undiluted. And Mr. What's-His-Name is going to have to dilute the shit out of the APE people and not do the conversion. That's always his option now, too. Just hose them down, give us all the money, um, fix his company as much as he wants to while hosing them down, but he won't be able to make them go away. And if he can't make them go away by combining them, uh, then he won't be able to get rid of their voting status and their voting ability. They'll probably have him fired at that point. Um, so, yeah, they're going to hold a stockholder vote probably themselves since they're the mass majority and they'll probably get him gone and we get somebody else in there probably. And uh, God knows what they'll vote on next, but we'll be hijacked forever by APE people if she doesn't let this thing clack over. So AMC no longer controls its own company. That's why he had to do this. He sold them on an arbitrage play, and what he sold them was a pile of crap. Anyhow, thank you for watching the video. <laughs> I just want to make sure everybody's ready. Um, and be ready to buy the new AMC. Uh, as soon as the clack happens, he can't dilute it anymore. You need to know that. He can't dilute it anymore once the clack happens. So once you see the clack happen, feel free to get back in. Most of the terror will be over with by then. There won't be terror after the clacking. There'll be terror before the clacking. And during the diluting, you might see a little terror for a half a day, but it's going to be about where it's going to be. And uh, I don't know whether the ten to, or 1 to 10 reverse split will have happened. You'll have to make your decision what price is a good price after that. Um, but just depends on how many levels of dilution he does. If he adds 2 billion shares to the universe before the clack up, and now we're clocking up and we're worth $2.20 uh, or, or $1.20 because he, he tripled the number of shares in existence. Um, yeah, we're going to have uh, that. That's going to be the numbers we're going to work on. So we're going to work on uh, how much APE he, uh, he actually dilutes. And it's and we're going to call it over when he clocks the two together because we know he, he can't do it anymore. Can't dilute anything anymore after that. But he's going to lay those people out to waste long before the clack. So, uh, but you're going to go down during that lay to waste. So keep your eyes on it. Uh, it's moving up right now. It's moving up with AMC. These people are just the the blind leading the blind. It's absolutely incredible. The sheep are being led to the slaughter, and uh, yeah, and AMC is celebrating a great earnings report all at the same time. It's so bizarre. Have a wonderful afternoon. Please like my video and subscribe. Uh, I was a huge fan of this stock. I was a huge fan of their awesome earnings. I'm still a huge fan of the stock. Um, but yeah, this play is not over yet. This whole uh, dilution gig. He's got another $4 billion to carve out. And he's kind of setting up the home run. He's watching all these people trickle, trickle in on an arbitrage play. And he's just giggling. He's like, look, it's going up today. He's freaking laughing right now because he knows he's about to fire $2 billion off as soon as this judge rules. He's going to go, okay, time to pay off the debt and switcheroo. And that's what he's going to do. Have a great day. Like the video and subscribe. I hope to bring more positive news out. Ride this thing to the top. Maybe get yourself some put options uh, on AMC just in, until the... Uh, bloodbath is over and get rid of your put options take all of your winnings and buy amc stock again at the proper price uh that's what i'm doing myself i'm going to try to pull off the double entendre play i'm going to put option it to the bottom uh i might uh and then i'm going to sell and then i'm going to um buy the buy the new shares of the amc and enjoy the new company for a while i'm going to maybe a long while i might stay forever but it's going to be a low overhead growing business where they can sustainably produce good earnings and start growing this company again, which is what we all want to see. But there is a few days that we don't want to be a participant in this thing. And we're going to make darn sure that we're not. So keep your eyes on this channel and keep your eyes on Ape. When you see it losing its ass, you're about to lose your ass. Get the hell out of AMC and go ahead and get out of Ape now. That's the only thing that can get diluted immediately uh yeah, but you would say the whole thing kind of does get diluted by de facto but directly speaking ape is his only uh, piggy bank 
and he needs a piggy bank. He needs a $4 billion piggy bank, and it's the only one in town, and uh, he's going to go take it. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.